Hello everybody, welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome back to NHL 14. This is day one coverage because I got this for Christmas. And it is now time to announce my decision for be a GM. Yes, here we go. We're going to go to rookie here because, well, basically I'm going to do it like Johnny Superman does. We're just going to sim here. We're going to start at the draft as always. Straight difficulty. Easy. Actually, that's new this year. Any dudes that act cap off authentic? Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Fantasy dropped off. DM firing on. Let's see rules. Yeah, I don't don't care less about these advanced settings. I want these to be a little interesting. Best of seven. Shootout. Screw it. Just go to shootouts. Okay, let's see. Be a GM race. Yeah, you can go up to 25. That's basically what I'm doing. And let's advance. Now it's time for us to pick a team. And it, last year I chose the Los Angeles Kings. Last year I chose the Los Angeles Kings, which that series will continue to go on. But I wanted a very young team to control for this year. And the teams that I ended up choosing were the Chicago Blackhawks, the Vancouver Choke Artists, Diamond Canucks. The Dallas Stars and the San Jose Sharks. But after due consideration... Oh, by the way, before we do get started, I gotta check. Really quick, so... Hold on one moment, guys. I'm gonna have to make sure to see if their jerseys are... The team that I'm choosing is in the game. Let me just take a quick peek here. I gotta take a quick peek here. I can I apologize. Yes, we are in the game. And again, I'm gonna you turn you guys away because I already know what team I'm gonna choose. And I, uh, I chose quick modes again. Shoot. No, not the quick now feature. Game, what are you doing? Sorry, just wanted to make sure to see how things go here. So here we go. Again, not all star. That's ridiculous. We're gonna start off with the entry draft here. And don't forget there will be the next episode will be New Year's Eve as always, so wait. That's a seven. Shoot. Shoot out. Shoot. Shoot out. Yes, 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 yes. All that good stuff. So here we go. Now it's time for my decision. I thought long and hard, but the other choices are the San Jose Sharks, Chicago Blackhawks, Vancouver Canucks, and the Dallas Stars. Well, as you can see, after due consideration, their young team is 28.9. Chicago, on the other hand, is 27.8. While Vancouver, their age is 28.7. And as we take a look at San Jose, they're 28.8. So basically, that's going to be a tough decision for me. But after due consideration, not as fan went with the Buffalo Sabres. The team that I'm controlling is none other than the Dallas Stars. Yes, this is the... Je oh, hold on. Huh. I guess they actually changed the keyboard mechanics in this game. Yes, I'll be controlling the Dallas Stars within this first season, within a while here, unless when 45 years is up, I can start up another one. There we go, and uh, no, I meant to hit Y. No, oh, I missed. So yes, I hope you guys enjoy this new series. The reason why I wanted to make sure their jerseys are in the game, in fact they are in their top, our top player is Jamie Ben, which that's gonna be something kinda special here. By the way, gotta go Amateur, I gotta go. Easy. There we go. Here we go. And uh, automatically fix teams. There we go. Oh no, shoot, I put the salary cap on. Don't! Oh. Well, I guess that makes things a little bit of a challenge. So, basically, this is gonna be a little easy. I mean, I wanted a team that had a new look, something like Dallas or San Jose, but also I want that good American Hockey League affiliate, like that Chicago, that Chicago and. Vancouver hat. I'll go Vancouver as a brand new one, so they were the first ones out. Then I wanted a team that changed their jerseys, so Chicago's out. 
But I chose, I was thought really carefully about San Jose, but in the end, Dallas was younger than the minimum age, so that's all I gotta say. So as we take a look at the menu here, as we take a look at coaching options, jersey numbers, as you can see, we got a lot of good guys here. So with Richard Bachman, Jamie Benn, Eric Cole, Trevor Daly, I forgot about him, Brandon Dillon, and this is a guy I'm probably not going to trade away, Louis Erickson. Definitely not getting rid of him, and definitely not getting rid of this guy either. Sergey Gonchar, not getting rid of him, even though he's up in age. Kari Lentinen, no way, he's our top goalie. Stefan Robitis, I think that's how you pronounce it. I am pretty sure about that. Ray Whitney, uh, I would name him captain, but wait, he actually is captain. Wow. Wait, I thought Jamie Ben was in real life, but eh, what are you going to do? I'm going to keep Ray bit, Way Whitney as my captain. So that's all basically, that's all I got to say. GM options, let's take a look at, let's take a look at our contracts here for the Dallas Stars. So as you can see, we gotta be a little careful. Ratner next season, he's wait. Whitner's unsigned. Let's see. Do we have any big guys that are? We got Jack Campbell, Tyler, Beskowani, and Richard Bachman. Both of these two are are restricted free agents. And that's for Jack Campbell. He's good. As we took a look at rookie skaters, we got Taylor Peters, which is a is a three star potential. Cody Payne, I now this guy. This, there's one guy in particular really caught my attention lately that made me lean towards Zan towards Dallas, and that is this guy right here, Richard Bachman. Yes, that's him. He could be our quarter, our goalie of the future for this team. But I'm pretty sure he's going to get sent down to Texas. So, so if Lettinen gets injured, that's all I got to say. Free agency. Let's see upcoming free agents for, for us. And Daniel Alperson. Oh, I would love to have him. But, again, he's too old. So, that's going to be a bit of a tough old. David Clarkson. I would. But, actually... And also, there's a couple of good guys I would like, like Eric Condra I would, Dan D'Agostini, I could low on, Patrick Elias, there's no way, he's too old. Let's see, and Colin Frazier, no way, he's a king, I can't take a king away. Zeus, oh man, I don't know why we got rid of him, he was so good. But now, without any further ado, let's... Kick, let's get this started. Let's sim up ahead here and welcome aboard as the general manager of the Dallas Stars. Get 36 wins, no problem. I think it's the prospect, dude. No, we're not going to do that. So we're going to sim this. Here we go. First period. 2 0. Uh, then it was 5 up. Oh my god. Uh oh, the, the, one of the teams just out. The red, the red team absolutely caught did the Buffalo Sabres. For guys who know, didn't get that reference, a few years ago, the Buffalo Sabres wiped, unfortunately, kicked out, kicked my Kings butt, my Los Angeles Kings butt, ten to one. So let's see, let's see who's gonna be our team guy here. As you can see, all of us drooling, drooling, drooling. Jeez, jeez. Jeez, and the red team actually dominated. Here's our top picks. Let's see. Oliver Backstrand, Axel Bloomquist, Josh Morrissey, Laurent Dauphin, and Nathan McCrennan. Oh-ho! Hmm. Well, if we get the number one pick, that would be epic if we do that. And, oh, we're going to sim up to the draft. And let's see what happens. Oh, update our trading block. Well, let's see here. Well, current picks... Oh, we got second! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! And Ray Whitney? No, we are. It has to be good if we're gonna trade our captain away. Wait. Let's see, Sim. And let's begin the draft. Oh, that sucked. We're gonna lose McCredit. Oh, we're 10. Oh. I forgot his draft lottery. Let's 
see what happens. Let's see. Is there anyone calling? Nope. Nobody. We're going to shut down the phones for the draft, and here we go. Lots of... Oh, McCready went to Florida. Just unlike in real life. Seth Jones went to Carolina. Oh, this is going to be a tad bit interesting. Here's, now it's our turn. Let's see who we who's left on our, the board. We got Chris Burgess. Mark, Max Domi. I, actually, I saw him play in the minor leagues on TV and the NHL Network. Laurie Dauphin. Well, he is... Has, I actually, as we take a look at the goal, scouted goalies, Brandon Burke seems like a perfect candidate here as we, uh, as look at and also we got Anthony Brodeur, wait, is he the son of Marty, Martin Brodeur? Scouted skaters, let's see, ooh, man, this is gonna be a tough call, and, uh, wait, top ten? Oh boy. I would not go for a goalie, but in the end, we're going to go with Max Go Domi because, well, it fits the bill. And of course, Quindon goes to Phoenix. Okay, let's do a quick sim. And we have two picks. Great. For the second round, let's see what happens. So far, nothing. Take a look at the NHL. And Shane Doe got traded to the Rangers. And they got uh, Andrew Yogan. The 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 uh, Coyotes got Brett Parson and Sebastian, what's his name, in exchange for Luvenier Vipsnoski. Oh, man. Heart goes out to that guy. Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Do we have any trades? No, I'm actually surprised. I guess no one wants Wade Whitney. And now this is where we want a goalie. Because, well, we want to stack up our goalie department. Here we go. Let's see who we have left. We got Bo Horvat, who is a left wing. I would, but let's see here. Uh oh. I want a guy that has high potential. So, Cam Lanigan could be our guy. So, let's see. Chris Clark, I would. Wait, Rudy Mayer. Rudy Mayer. But after do after doing some thinking, I'm thinking that our good gu our top guy right now. We want to build up our goalie and defenseman area, so so we're gonna go with Stephen Lavieu of Victoriaville, and we're gonna choose that guy. As we take a look, we're gonna quick sim here because we don't have time for that. So here we go, scout of skaters. We'll go Rudy Mayer, but I, I, I want a defenseman. And the top defenseman right now with high potential. I'm going to go with... We're going to go with Jordan Subban. <laughs> yeah, let's go with him. We're going to go with Jordan Subban. <laughs> Why not? As we take a look here, we have one draft pick in the third round. Wow. Um... This is not good for us. Again, no one wants to trade. Hold on, let's uh, propose a trade. Let's see. Meets Anaheim. Is it Jamie Bent? Oh, we're not doing that. Ryan Smith? Really? No, it's not. Oh, right, wrong Smith. Let's see. Let's take a look who meets Foss's requirements. Oh. Is there anyone that meets Way Whitney? I mean... Wait, does Whitney have a no trade clause? Nope, I guess he doesn't meet their requirement. Oh well, we're gonna shut up. We're gonna shut down the phones. Because at this point, there's no one that's gonna want Ray Whitney. Okay, let's get started. As we take a look at our next draft pick here. Oh. Well, actually, we want a guy with high expectation, high league interest. So we're going to go with this guy, Matthew Perfall from Saskatoon. And we're going to quick sim, and there we go. We got another 10th pick here. But before we do, let's take a look at the uh, 
picks here. Oh, this is a good player I picked Brady. Let's see. Again, that's it? Seriously? I mean, come on, this is getting a little ridiculous. That's getting a little ridiculous. Do we have any trades? Oh my god! Is everyone really hating on me because I'm a rookie GM? And now this next one is obviously going to be a no stinky brainer. A no stinking brainer. A no stinking brainer. Who I want as a goaltender. And this is a guy, we want some international flavor here besides the United States of Canada. And in fact, that goalie is... is we're gonna go with Kevin Hubert and uh, wow we got two more draft picks and this is gonna get a this is gonna be a long one let's see if there are any updates on the uh, draft board trade board no shoot wow uh getting a little ridiculous so here we go, fifth pick, and again, we're going to go with the ones that, with green, we're going to go with Jonathan Narbon out of Moncton. And the second pick, we're going to go with Josh Burnside. And that's pretty much going to do our draft. So here we go, as so we take a look, and again, nothing in the on the trade front. Let's take a look at ours. Again, no. Again, that frickin' sucks. We're gonna quick sim it. Well, we got our second pick at the dra draft. Let's take a look. Did anything happen while we were gone? Again, absolutely nothing. Do we have any uh, other teams? Oh, no! Again! This is getting ridiculous! Offer us something. Jeez. And the seventh pick, we're gonna go with Mitch Holmberg. And that's gonna do it. That's pretty much gonna do it. And that's gonna pretty much wrap up this episode. We are earned four days, but we got it. Our reputation went up high, so that's going to do it. We're gonna, that's pretty much gonna do it, guys. Join us when I get back home. When we, uh, as we uh, continue on as the Dallas Stars. Going to the resigning stage. See you guys.